this hike. It's much worse on the way back up. Good? Yeah, I'm good. I was getting the camera out. Well, the phone out. Like I said, all in all, though day one of the plans was horrific, day two turned out pretty freaking nice. As long as I don't die right now. I'm, I'm, I'm not being serious. Hamstrings are burning now. Whoa. Don't need that. People don't even have sympathy nowadays. Be like, Idiot dies on hill. <laughs> I'd be like, huh, huh, whatever. The best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. What you see here, though beautiful, is not B-roll. It's a search and rescue mission for lost equipment in the Himal Mountains just outside of Mexico. Unfortunately, the equipment was never recovered. I won't keep watching you Dance around in your smoke Well, the car's not working because there might be a battery issue, we don't know. So we're gonna find out Oh. Hop. <laughs> this is so crazy. Have we have we started our trip yet? Nope. <laughs> Strong below. All right, Gene. Hey. So usually I don't like to talk behind the mic because it's really bad etiquette. But I think we're just having somewhat of a cluster file for, of a day yesterday. Yesterday was horrible. <laughs> I was pissed off, but like, you know, I thought that last bit of the day was going to salvage the first part of the day. Hey, that just sealed the deal for how horrible a day it was. Anytime you lose a quad, it's, it's not a good day. Yeah. So what we're going to have in store today, we're going to go to Rosarito. We're going to go to uh, El Mirador. For people that don't know what that is, it's going to be a lookout tower. Um, that looks out over the ocean. Um, it's really, really, really old. Um, then also we're going to go to the abandoned ship. I think it's still there. So we're going to take a look. Uh, we're going to probably climb down the rocks for a little bit. Um, Gene, you got anything to add? I got two working quads. One of which I have a little experience with. One I have no experience with, like, it used to be my main quad, but I dropped it in a lake, and now I have it built out with completely new components, and I'm using new firmware. I'm using race flight firmware. I just had to learn it last night, learn how to get this thing armed, learn how to do all of it. So it's working, but I don't know what the rates are like, so first flight I'm gonna have to do some testing to see how it feels and hopefully I can change rates in the OSD if I need to but I'm going all default this trip so for cinematic stuff it should be hopefully it'll be all right I just don't want to lose the second quad yeah Gene lost the quad so we're gonna maybe try or we're gonna try and find it on the way back um yeah the, the car messed up I mean it was just it was it was just a mess, man. But luckily we got it rolling again. So, you know, so we're going to just try and make things happen. Hey, once again, my name is j -Bo Diesel. And uh, anything else? Uh, my name is Eugene. <laughs> Thank you, all right to let go. So you'll see three sets of law enforcement here. Okay. It's the federalities, it's all black. 
all black uniforms. Okay. The police, uh, they wear the gray, the gris. The police? Uh huh, the uh, regular. Um, no, it's the blue. Okay, so there's the blue. And then the, the army, which looks like army. Okay. Yeah. So, like, they just look for people. If they look suspicious, they what? They probably have intel on who's who and what's what. Only check the, the cars. Yeah. Make sure there's nothing, like, yeah. contraband, drugs, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, a lot of mules. Mules? Yeah. People don't know what mules are. You know, it's like people that's carrying drugs. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm like, what do they have against me? <laughs> yeah, no, no, not the. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't have enough rain to make up your storm. In Rosarito, we saw lots of clubs, also lots of vendors selling the wares on the beach, people offering horseback rides, live bands, and beaches lined with new hotels. We continued to test our equipment with some success and some failures, but the day was moving fast and it was time to pack up and start driving to the next spot. Alright, so we're at, what is this, La Bufadora? No, this no. is El Mirador. El, El Mirador. El Mirador. It's the lookout. The lookout. So, uh, this is like, um, it looks over the Pacific Ocean. The final stop on our trip was an old abandoned ship that Jason had once found. For this spot, there were no signs, no entrances or guides, just a random stop at the bottom of a cliff on the side of a highway with do-it-yourself trails which had also long since been abandoned. Oh, are you serious? What? I said, are you serious? Was this platform here before? Yeah, the mid the middle's all caved in. All right, it feels stable here. This main beam. Huh? So this beam feels stable here. Yeah. Look. Sometimes beauty comes from devastation, like a shipwreck on a beach next to a cliff at sunset. Something that was once tragic and possibly even fatal can become something in which others can find beauty. Adventures are microcosms of life. At times, nothing goes right, and the harder you try, the more difficult things seem to become. But in the midst of all the chaos, if you can remember to pay attention to the moments of beauty, you will be left with nothing but fond memories. Yeah.
tell you what he told me, no I can't tell you what he told me, no I can't tell you what he told me, no Idiot dies on hill. <laughs> I mean, I, huh, huh, whatever. Catching our breath. Sun, sun is down. It's dusk. I head back home tomorrow. One more search and rescue effort in the morning. Yeah. And then uh, I have to cut my losses or uh, you know, miracle happens. Yep. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Oh, I like the song. Uh -huh. Marina da Mara. Jonathan Pure won a war. He got that, that, that noise. <laughs> oh, they open up another lane. Southwest. 